Yo, I am Dr. Cool. Something is happening in Nigeria, something big, but this isn't about oil or empty political promises. This is a sound, a deep guttural roar that starts as a whisper and builds into a thunderclap. It's the sound of a jet engine. At the time he was showcasing this jet engine, he shut down everything that breathed from government officials to military top rank officials to police chiefs. It was as if he was testing out a nuke. The grave silence that awaits in anticipation was so mind-boggling, Zico ignited a firestorm that nobody saw coming in the amidst economic devastation and high inflation. This young man from the eastern region shocked the entire world as without a white man behind the scene. This journey of technological innovation has just begun. It was a moment to remember as his intervention were met with skepticism and surprise. I would be sharing a clip of this event with you folks before the end of this video. He cracked the code. What is the ultimate uppercut here? Jet engine be my guess. So, you know, torrent of white skin folks while I was giving publicity to Maxwell Chikumbutso, self-powered technology previously, dropped a comment that stirred me just little, saying African aren't capable of building engine blocks. How can they build a self-powered technology? Did you hear that? The real question is, why did the Western world bet on stealing our deities, buying our antiques, imposing their gods on us? They know what we underestimated about our spirituality. The science and sorcery are birds of same species. They know our ancestors taught them everything they know. The worst damage they can do to us is to separate us from our ancestors. Doing so, we will be separated from the source of true knowledge and key our ancestors had. Our awakening is reconnecting us back to our roots, out of which groundbreaking inventions are emerging without graduating from MIT, Harvard or Western College are shifting sand beneath their feet in the most brutal way. That's why I reserve my spot and punch, knowing that we are 100 times more capable than they are technologically, physically, mentally, emotionally and otherwise. However, not having a level playing field is enough to make a pig think it can race quarter mile while in the midst of warthog. This video is a bold statement and a challenge to the West that we are born ready leadership in every endeavors of life, in all ramifications, and we are not saying give us a chance, we're saying stay the hell out of our life, our way, and we will turn the clock to start reading backwards on the Western economy without a shot. Now, if you heard Nigerian built a jet engine, that's a quantum leap, a middle finger to the gatekeepers, an old ruin. With them out of our way, we can build anything, even without zillion science laboratory. Why? Because we always do. We are the Tartarian civilization of springs and their spirit in flesh. We are God's hands behind the Tartarian building structures that can never be replicated. We break shackles without fancy tools, and we melt them down, turn it into a jet engine. Not from Seattle or Toulouse, but from a small workshop in Ebonoi State, Nigeria, forged from local steel willpower and defiance. For decades, the West monopolized this technology, locking it behind patents and export controls. We bought their planes, their engines, their weapons, playing by their rules, but that era is ending. What you're hearing is more than fuel and air exploding, it's a continent waking up. It's the roar of young minds realizing they don't need permission to build the future. This machine built against all odds is a declaration. We have the knowledge, the skill, and we're building our own table. It's a threat to global supply chains designed to keep nations like Nigeria dependent. And the most brilliant, terrifying part, it has an afterburner. An afterburner is a statement of intent. More power, more speed, more ambition. It transforms a jet engine into the heart of something much faster. Something that could patrol its own skies, project its own power, and write its own destiny. The game has changed, and it all started with one man in a workshop. The world is listening now. Nigeria is no longer asking for a seat, it's building its own. Who is the man behind this noise? Not a government-backed genius or billionaire. His name is Zico Abara, a young computer engineer from Ebony State. No fancy degrees, no big team, just a mind that refuses to quit. He funded this project himself, using his own salary and savings to buy scrap metal and components. While others waited for grants, Zico believed in himself. He claimed he could build Nigeria's first self-sustaining, afterburner-capable turbojet. Everyone thought he was mad. Doubters filled his social media with ridicule, telling him to give up, to leave engineering to the experts. But Zico used their doubt as fuel. He wasn't just building an engine, he was tearing down a century-old psychological barrier. Zico fought not just physics, but the belief that Africa couldn't create. And with every weld, he proved them wrong. Watch this video from Zico, and I will be back shortly afterwards. Everyone who was there, the military, the police and politicians watched in awe and couldn't believe their eyes. It was a total shutdown from the head to toe. And this is just the beginning of the opening act of African disruptive innovation. There are more Zico in every part of Africa yet to be discovered. Let's be clear, Zico built a real turbojet, not a toy. It sucks in air, compresses it, mixes it with fuel and ignites it in a controlled explosion. The blast spins a turbine, making the process self-sustaining. Then he added an afterburner for a brutal kick of extra thrust. The journey was brutal. Failures, shattered blades, melted chambers. 
Each setback drained his funds and fueled the skeptics, but Zico saw every failure as a lesson. He learned to treat local steel, redesigned chambers and mastered fluid dynamics. He became a one-man R&D department, obsessed with progress. The internet laughed at his early attempts, but Zico saw the path forward. Then, one day, it worked. The compressor whined, the chamber lit blue, the turbine spun, a stable, self-sustaining roar. He had done it, wrestled physics into submission in a Nigerian workshop. Scrap metal, ingenuity and determination, he created what powerful nations guard as a secret. The doubters fell silent. The game was on, Nigeria had entered the jet age. A young Nigerian, Zico Agbara, has joined those looking to revolutionize the airspace. Zico, who hails from a Boeing state, has designed the first of its kind turbo jet engine, which uses high pressure air from an air blower to start the engine until it's self-sustains. Zico presented a prototype of the Mark III turbojet engine to the Minister of Defense, Mohamed Badaru, the Minister of Science and Technology, Uche Naji, and other military officials at the Defense Research and Development Bureau Convention, which took place on October 15th at the National Defense College in Abuja. Well, in a post on X, Zico stated that he's the first person in Nigeria and probably in Africa to build a functioning, self-sustaining, after-burning turbojet engine. Congratulations, Zico. Dr. Abati, only 30 okay. seconds. We, we keep getting stories of this nature yes. about Nigerians who are very innovative. Fantastic. Either they are building electric vehicles Fantastic. or they are building other facilities, either for generating electricity. Now this is in the aviation sector. Now, is there an agency that coordinates all of these activities mm -hmm. to take advantage of the talents, Absolutely. the ingenuity of our youths? Okay, we have NIDA, the... Uh, Technology Development Agency. All right. We have Naseni, which is an engineering thing. The military, they have DICON. Mm -hmm. But you see, we bring all these things on television. We right. celebrate the young men. Where is the coordination? Fantastic. Where Fantastic. is the enabling environment, environment. to encourage all this? Fantastic. As Con other countries do. do. Congratulations. That is a missing link Absolutely. in all of this. Congratulations. Otherwise, you will keep I'm finding glad, yes. brilliant Nigerians right. who will be doing things. All right. I'm glad that he has presented these to the Minister of Defense. Well done. Kudos to Zico. Kudos to all our young Nigerians doing amazing. This engine is more than engineering. It's a weapon of economic liberation. For too long, Nigeria was trapped, buying jets, engines and parts from the West, locked into their ecosystem, subject to their prices and politics. Sanctions and embargoes became modern tools of control. Zico's engine is a pair of bolt cutters, declaring Nigeria will no longer be held hostage. It's the first step toward technological sovereignty. Imagine Nigeria building its own aircraft, drones and aerospace industry. High tech, jobs, innovation and a diversified economy built at home. The West knows the threat isn't military, but economic. An Africa that builds its own technology doesn't need their loans or overpriced goods. Zico's turbojet challenges not just Boeing and Rolls-Royce, but the entire post-colonial economic order. It's a quiet revolution, starting with that roar. The world is watching. The balance of power is shifting, and it all began in Ebony State. To understand Zico's achievement, look back at Nigeria's history. The eastern region, Zico's home, has deep roots of innovation. During the Biafran War, engineers like Gordi and Ezekwe built rockets and refined fuel under siege. They created an arms industry from scratch, proof of indigenous genius. That spirit of resilience and self-reliance flows through Zico. After the war, that talent was scattered, a golden opportunity lost. Now Zico is picking up the torch dropped half a century ago. He proves Biafran innovation wasn't a fluke, it's in the region's DNA. Nigeria once built parts for military jets, the skills have always been there. Zico is the spark reigniting that legacy. The future is being forged anew. Here's the big question. Where is the support? Zico cracked a guarded technology on a shoestring budget. In any sensible country, he'd have government backing, labs and investors, but the silence is deafening. No grants, no visits, no billionaire support. Why? Is it incompetence or something more deliberate? Western powers don't like competition. They protect their supremacy. Maybe there's pressure behind the scenes, subtle threats about loans or trade. 
Supporting Zico isn't just technical, it's political. It's a choice to challenge the status quo. Zico has proven the risk is worth it. The only thing missing is the will. Forget the politics. Imagine the future. Skies over Africa filled with African-built machines. Aerospace hubs in Enugu or Abuja, not just Seattle or Toulouse. Young engineers designing the next generation of aircraft and satellites. Jobs for machinists, welders, technicians and pilots, an entire ecosystem. This is how you build a nation, careers, hope and ambition. Jet engine technology unlocks advances in power, medicine and agriculture. Technological sovereignty in aerospace is a gateway to every sector. It's a catalyst for a continent-wide renaissance. Africa as a creator, not just a consumer. Zico's name alongside the Wright brothers and Elon Musk. African children dreaming not just of flying, but of building jets. The potential is real, so close we can almost taste it. The future is waiting. Zico has reached his afterburner moment. The engine runs, stable, powerful, proven, but building a prototype is just the start. Turning it into a product requires resources, testing and a team. The era of the lone genius is over. Now it's time for collaboration and investment. Nigeria must step up, build research centers, fund talent and treat this as a national asset. This isn't about one man, it's about the nation's future. Other countries are racing to develop aerospace. Nigeria has a head start. The window of opportunity is open but won't stay forever. The next decisions will determine if Zico's engine is a museum piece or the heart of a new industry. The world is watching. The stakes are historic. The time to act is now. So, what can you do? Power doesn't just flow from the top, it flows from the ground up. The story of Zico Abra is powerful but it needs amplifiers. Share it, talk about it. Demand answers from leaders, create a groundswell of support that can't be ignored, support homegrown innovation in every way you can. Engineers, offer your expertise, students, study science, businesses, back local talent, build a culture that celebrates creators and dreamers. Zico has shown what's possible. This is more than an engine. It's about untapped potential everywhere. Zico is a symbol of what's possible with determination. Now it's our turn to add our voices to the roar, share the story, fuel the dream. The sky is waiting. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tell me what you think about this innovation. Thanks for watching. See you in the comments section.